so in this module we will look at mysql we will look at the relational model we will look at the type of the database architecture and of course this module is a continuation of number of modules which will be covering and linking and strengthening the concepts which are required to make a wonderful web based database application now we can have a file to store the records and we can use php to process that file and to retrieve those records and work on them this is fine but when the number of records in the file become thousands and thousands then using php programming grinds to a halt the application so we need a database so let's look at the module coverage use files or database the database architectures the database models choosing a database and understanding the relational database of course we'll go into more details in the subsequent modules so use files or database it depends upon answering those questions what is the volume of data is it large or it is not so large how frequently the data is being accessed how frequently go and you read how frequently the data is updated is being changed how many users are there 2 4 40 400 4000 4, rate of data growth is it almost static it is exponential what is what are the issues of security and reliability now if the answer to any of the above is lot then you need a dbms database is more efficient and where does the data go that data will also be stored in a file but that file is not going to be managed by php that file is entirely different transparent hidden from php that file is processed by the database management system so what are the database architectures we have the embedded databases and we have the client server databases embedded databases are inside the application they are on the same machine they cannot share between different machines all right the examples are dbs and the dbm they are faster they are easier to configure okay but you see that cannot share between different machines okay and faster to application to configure but the main concept of having multiple users access the database over the internet that is not there so we have the client server databases designed to work over the network ideal for web database engine is accessing the databases over the network we may have distributed databases also which is not part of this course and such client server databases are used by large organizations for large data sets for many users okay and these are specialized okay we have specialized lightweight clients you don't need a lot of processing power at the client end using your browser you can access those databases the examples are the big 3 are, are the oracle the db2 and the sql server i think you get the picture so what are the database models we have this simple databases and we have this relational databases simple databases are just associative memory just like an array referenced by a single key okay you cannot define the relationship between the records or data inside the simple database they are very fast to look up because it is like like just like random access memory order one time if you remember algorithms order one time it's very fast right but they are not as powerful as the relational databases but the relational databases are expensive to set up they cost a lot they have all the imaginable functionality in them there is open source also which is fast and reliable open source is like mysql a free of cost but that is not as powerful as the commercial databases okay which have their own issues and they work fine for small to medium size projects so these so it's not that these have not been in use remember i told you of an application 
or a portal humongous number of users using php so why use uh, mysql it is very popular database on the web it is freely available you download you install and you are running and works with a number of operating systems it is relatively cheap to get and relatively cheap to host and as we discussed before the hosting packages are there and they are not very expensive there are simple administration tools also which come in very handy and you don't have to buy very expensive licenses like uh, those databases which i have already mentioned and fast powerful copes well with large complex databases so it is not that they cannot be used for large databases they can be used right and sqlite and postgresql are fast but not cheap okay embedded databases so you see that there are pros and cons for those things which are not fast but cheap not fast but they are cheap you get the picture now let's look at the relational database relational database associated group of records for example payroll records grouped by employee payroll records grouped by the department by the salary structure or whatever and the data is usually stored in a table and the columns are the attributes the rows are the records and uh, so on so let's look at one example so we have this example over here that the players are playing matches and in this example we look at the matches played on two dates and the players depending upon their performance get a nickname and we have this log of matches played now in the subsequent modules we will look and use this log of matches played to develop and explain the concepts that's all i have for this module